What's up YouTube, the Bearded Outdoorsman, your guide to all things gear and beards. Today we're going to be taking a look at something that I got in my nomadic box, one of my nomadic boxes, and that is a paracord cleat from Ready Man. Alright, so stay tuned to the intro, we're going to set it up, show you how to set it up, how to use it, and uh, so make sure you come back. Alright guys, if you are new to my channel, I am the Bearded Outdoorsman, alright? I have hiking videos, gear reviews, some beard product reviews, some tutorials, and today uh, we're going to take a look at this paracord cleat, alright? It came in one of my nomadic boxes, and uh, I've been testing out and playing around with it. So make sure to hit that thumbs up, make sure to hit that subscribe button, I'll wait on you, go ahead and do it. And, uh, and then we'll move into, I'll, I'll change the camera angle and we will set this thing up with some paracord. All right guys, well here we are. All right, so what I've got is, I've got a short shank of paracord and I'm gonna show you how to hook this up. So what I'm gonna do just for, just for this video is I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna pull a lot out. That way I don't have any, I'm just gonna leave a little short piece here. All right, so you, what you wanna do is holding it this way, you wanna go through this hole on the right and then go under and come through the hole on the left in the same direction. Get some of this junk out of the way. All right, so now we've got it in like this. All right, so this end, if I was using this for a shelter, for a tarp, for a hammock, Anything like that, this of course would have something on the end of it. So we're gonna just simulate that. Now on this end, what you're gonna wanna do is wrap this end around the tree. Um, if you needed to, you could wrap it around again. And then to make it have a little bit better, um, get it where we can see it a little bit better. Um, to give it a little bit better bite, um, what we want to do is we want to wrap this um, a couple times. So we'll do okay. So now that we've got it wrapped, now what that did is it just makes this line, this piece of paracord, come parallel to this one as opposed to coming in from over here at a different angle. Now what we're going to do is we want to we want to wrap it around this back in this back teeth and then loop it and pull it and when we pull that and cinch it we can take this line if you can see this line here and we can pull that that is not going anywhere let me readjust the camera a little bit So what that did for us is now we have this this extra and of course you just wrap it around what you needed to do to get rid of the extra but I can take this and it is not it's not going anywhere all right so it's just as easy to undo even after I pull that pressure on it is come right here undo undo that bite Try not to hit the camera and just undo that. And that is it. This is perfect for a ridge line on a tarp, for a hammock if you use paracord, which I don't recommend paracord for hanging your hammock. But um, if it was just a short, especially for overnight, don't use paracord to hang your hammocks if you're gonna be sleeping in them. But if you're gonna be just hanging out, lounging around for a couple hours, then paracord is perfectly fine for that. And this would be a good lightweight, this is aluminum. It practically weighs nothing. Um, and they come from Ready Man. I will put a link, <clears throat> I'll put a link in the description below. Ready Man, they are, I think they're about $5. I don't know what shipping is, but they're about $5 for a pack of two. So really cool, really cool little item. I'm glad it came in my nomadic box. I'll drop a link to, uh, 
to that video as well so you can see what else came in that that box but uh but yeah really cool little item so there it is all right guys if you haven't already please consider hitting that subscribe button definitely hit that thumbs up and as always stay bearded get outdoors and god bless